After that last six minutes of that game. Um, we was really getting stopped still and um, and executing yeah. on offense. Um, Staying consistent uh, throughout the ending of the games. Um, that's like our, our main focus, especially um, recently, uh, right now, to learn from. And I feel like we did that pretty well tonight. Did you feel like you took that away from last night's game and tried to carry that into closing this one out? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, we were talking about it before it even came up um, to really close this game out because um, OKC has a tendency to um, come from behind and. Uh, and take the lead eventually, so uh, we really was focusing on that and not letting that happen. It's one thing for either you or Jay to get going, but to know that both of you guys have 20 plus point double doubles in the same game, how much satisfaction do you guys feel doing that? Um, that's great. Um, both of me and him were working on the glass. Um, we knew we could have had a, a big night. Their team is not necessarily as big as ours, so um, we were just trying to stay in the paint and control the paint uh, the entire game. I mean, what have you seen, um, not only tonight, but lately from Lamar and just the way that he is able to come in and, and be so active on both ends of the floor? Um, his dog mentality and his leadership, for sure, uh, coming in every single time, uh, bringing energy. Um, that's really his role, and uh, he does it very well. Uh, every time he's in, he's always trying to make the right plays, and uh, he's been knocking down threes as well. So. Um, he's just getting better every game. What is he doing in timeouts, huddles, etc., um, when you guys, like, about um, being active on the defensive end? Like, what does he do, what does he say, and, like, what do you guys take from those? Um, yeah, he just keeps everyone in check. Um, he's, he's not going to lie to you, and he just tells you what it is, and um, either you take it or you don't. And so um, I feel like that's what a great leader does, and um, that's what he's, he's bringing to the table for us. Is there anything different about Karras the past couple of games, or is he just knocking it down? Um, yeah, he just has that confidence. Uh, he's been uh, rolling recently and um, taking his shots, <laughs> finding his shots recently, and uh, been doing good. So uh, we definitely want that from him and, and continue that uh, through these rest of the season. What was working so well for you? I think in the in the fourth quarter, you had almost I think it was ten points in a row. Um, just JB said you were being aggressive out there, but what did you see that allowed you to um, to get to the basket? Um, I was just um, taking what the defense gave me. Um, uh, a few times they fell for the pump fake, and um, I, I just read the defense from there. And um, I was just trying to stay patient, but also uh, active at the same time, and um, got to my spots and knocked down my my shots. So. When you take the ball full court, what's going through your mind? Um, just make the right play. Uh, when I'm coming down, either it's a handoff, uh, get it to the guard, but they were denying this time, so I was just going to the basket. Um, saw he cut me off, went the other way, cut me off again, and I'm already under the basket, so I just shot over the top. Do you know how rare that is for <laughs> a guy <laughs> your stature? Uh, yeah, it's pretty rare for sure, but um, I've been doing this a while, so uh, I know it's in my game, and um, I just got to uh, stay consistent and keep doing it and, um, and develop it even more. Once you see DG getting trapped, how much is there like a come-to-the-rescue kind of mentality when it's you and J.A. obviously uh, with the double? Uh, it's a, a big mentality because, I mean, he's, he's getting trapped, so he's, he's got to get off the ball. and. Um, so we just try to make ourselves available and, and then attack from there because then it's like a four on three. So, Evan, you've strung together uh, multiple strong performances and you're really starting to do that consistently now. I mean, is there anything different about you know how you're preparing or you know how you're approaching the game here here this season? Um, no, nah, I've been really locked in on uh, all practices and all that, um, getting extra work in and all that. Um, and then just staying focused throughout the whole game and just trying to keep being as consistent as possible. Um, that's what really uh, determines like the, the greats from good players. So um, just trying to be as consistent as possible every single night. Thanks, Thanks.